Hey Laura, pretty fun one here with this big old colorful lion. Um, thought I'd keep it pretty straightforward with the black or white frame, which it just seems like it's just asking for that. So, um, but um, a few things about it, I'm gonna kind of gently roll it over here. You can kind of see in the light just how rippled this was. You probably remember it too. Um, the uh, the ripples going through it is just long-standing uh, moisture damage, I'm pretty sure, and it was previously framed edge to edge, kind of just scrunching it up in there. So there's a lot of wooga 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 you can see down there. Um, if that is a concern of yours, we can dry mount this. It'll clean that up very nicely. Um, that said, also, <laughs> um, it is still a bright and colorful and interesting piece with um, uh, a good visual look so um, dry mounting may not be that important so um, yeah let me know if you're interested in dry mounting that there is this tiny little tear down here um, as far as matte board colors uh, I am looking at just a plain white gonna set this down here the um, the edges are really tight with the um, the things we want to show down here so I'm able to get a matte board down um, pretty close to the edge here so that we can still see everything. Um, I can actually touch this up. I can use colored pencils and just kind of infill that so that you don't have this little white gouge coming out from underneath the matte board. So um, yeah, I can, I can fix that. Um, but white matte board, black frame, totally would look fine. Um, I think I included a two inch matte board margin on this. Um, it's a pretty large poster, so it is oversized. So it's over 32 by 40. This is gonna go into um, 40 by 60 matte board territory. So that jumps the, the cost of the matte board up a bit, but um, yeah, big sucker. Um, also, I have this interesting blue. It is not a perfect match to the blue that's in the main, but it is a good tying the room together blue for the for the piece. I think it still works for it. Um, seeing as how colorful and bright it is, blue next to that red looks just great. And then of course, a black frame on top of that looks fine, but if you want it to be shocking like his eyes and teeth, blue and white. I thought that was amazing. So um, yeah, white frame, black frame, blue mat, white mat. We can kind of mix and match. I'll send you some pictures of everything um, kind of paired together. Um, white or black frame, um, white or blue mat, two inch margins, regular glass, uh, 180. If you wanted to do the dry mounting, that would bump it up another $20 and make it an even 200. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll send you some pics.